Hello, I thought I'd do a quick vlog, and I, uh, I, I posted a few things about COVID-19 on my blog, and I'll repeat them here, okay, as much as I can remember. You know, in times like this, everybody has to be strong. We all have to keep ourselves busy. We all have to, um... <clears throat> you know, lean on Jesus and uh, pray, pray that this ends sooner than later with as few lives lost. And I forgot what else I said. But then I read a post by someone who said that the whole thing is just bringing her down and... She doesn't, she is depressed and all that. And uh, I saw something that where people were saying that uh, people might feel post-traumatic stress disorder and depression because of COVID-19. And those are two things I know about because I suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder and COVID-19 for most of, I mean, not COVID-19, but depression for most of my life. <clears throat> and I can tell you how I dealt with them. At the time, I didn't have Jesus, but I did give Jesus certain days. You know, I said, just take this day, please. I can't handle it. It was so stressful. And Jesus took the day. Every time I gave Jesus a day to take for me, he took it, and I got through the day just fine. Well, it was I, I, I didn't feel that it was as bad as it normally is, and I was fine. So, you know, when you have very difficult days, or you know a day is going to be difficult, or a week is going to be difficult, give it to Jesus and say, Jesus, please take this and help me with it. You know, he'll help you. He'll help you with it. Okay, and offer up your suffering too. If you're suffering, offer it up. Jesus will help you with the suffering too. But you can always ask him to take a day. Always. You can always ask Jesus to take a day and he will. He will take the day for you and, and guide you through the day. It works. It does work. Jesus is there for everyone. And I also wanted to say that uh, prayer helps too. But then aside from that, a more um, secular thing, so I'm not all religious, a more secular thing that I used to do when I was suffering from PTSD and depression was I would, um, I would make, I would laugh. Now, I don't recommend the comedies that I used to watch because I was like a lot of people just kind of uh, lulled into not seeing anything wrong with what I was watching. So I watched a lot of bad comedies. But if you can find good comedies, clean comedies, then I recommend you watch those and enjoy yourself and laugh. Have a conversation with someone. Prepare some jokes. You know, I have a joke. Do you want to hear my... Well, I can't ask you if you want to hear my joke. I'm just going to tell you. My joke is, uh, what... What may... Uh, how do you make a Kleenex dance? Okay, and the answer is, you put a little boogie in it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyway, I thought that was cute. So, you know, and those are jokes. I always ask, uh, I always ask Google to tell me a joke. The Google Home thing. And it always tells me a joke. So I just wanted to share that one with you. I'm not good at remembering jokes, but I remember that one. So, you know, look up jokes online. Tell your jokes to your friends. Have a good, on the phone, have a good conversation, you know, get out there and get some fresh air, but really laugh. Do everything you can to laugh, 
to have a good time, to remember that um, life is serious. Oh, my, my goodness. My life was so serious. It was serious when I was going through all that stuff. It was so serious. And I said, you know what? My life is way too serious. I can't handle this. It's so serious. So that's when I turned to comedies and I just laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed. And then I talked to friends and we would laugh, you know. We would get together on the phone, a friend of mine and I, and watch TV shows and we would just laugh about the shows and laugh and laugh and laugh. We weren't really making, we weren't making fun of the people. We were just laughing at the shows, you know. And we got on the phone and we did that every single night. When she got home from work, she would call me and we would watch a couple shows. And we would just laugh and laugh and laugh about it. And I was seriously depressed at the time. But... It made me feel so much better. It made me feel so much better to laugh. And you remember it throughout the day. You're like, oh, you remember something that you laughed about and you start laughing again. See, it keeps you happy. And it releases a what? Someone's telling me. Somebody has to help me because I don't know. But it releases endorphins. It releases endorphins which make you feel better. Someone help me with that. Uh, anyway, but yeah, so that's what I recommend, you know, and getting out and walking, you know, keep your distance. Social distancing is important. And if you walk with a friend, make sure you keep your distance so that uh, neither one of you get sick. If you're sick or if your friend is sick, that uh, you don't pass it to each other. Anyway, um, but these are very serious times, very, very serious times. And these are things I know about seriousness. I don't know about like, you know, a pandemic or anything like that, but I know about being really, really serious, being depressed, being isolated, being alone. You know, I was left alone for a while and just so so much stuff happened to me that and then I just had to deal with it I had to find ways to deal with it and thank goodness I found ways to deal with it you know there's nothing wrong with going for a drive you know you can go for a drive <laughs> my mother's saying yeah uh-huh uh-huh she's up she woke up anyway yeah so I mean there's nothing wrong with going for a drive and uh, just seeing some of the scenery. Spring. It's almost it's spring now. And uh, in a couple weeks or so, the flowers will be blooming. And it's always nice to drive around. I love driving around and seeing the landscaping uh, that people do in their around their houses. I don't know if a lot of people do that this year. I think they will, and I love to just drive around and see the flowers in bloom, the trees that bloom. They're so beautiful. There's one on one street. It blooms pink, and it's just so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I love it, and I, I love it. So I, I definitely plan to drive around and see the scenery. <clears throat> and then probably I'll draw some of it, mm -hmm. you know, so I don't know, but uh, I'll just use it as inspiration for mm -hmm. my art. Mm -hmm. You know, I always, <laughs> I can't believe how much I love paintings of flowers, and yet I don't think I've ever done any paintings of flowers, a painting of a flower. Or flowers. Oh, yes, I did. I did two. Okay, now I remember I did two paintings of flowers. But uh, I don't have them anymore. Anyway, but yeah, I love paintings of flowers a lot. 
So, you know, spring is going to be, you know, motivational for me and inspirational. But uh, anyways, back to what I was saying, you know, I can't offer too many suggestions because uh, another component of me dealing with uh, with all the crises I went through with the PTSD and the de and the depression and the loneliness and isolation was trying what I could to go out with friends, you know, and uh but you can't do that nowadays. At least not right now. You can do that later on. So that's why I say get together on the phone. And just, you know, do the best you can to have a fun and and enjoyable conversation. Get Watch a, watch a couple shows and just laugh. And Well, there aren't really any shows that are clean. Well, there might be. I don't know. If there are clean shows or discuss, watch a show and discuss it, you know, keep your mind occupied. I don't know what to say to people who are stressed out because they're working at home and they have a family at home. And, you know, I have no idea. I don't have, I never had kids, so I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know unless someone helped me. But uh, other than that, I wouldn't know. So, I mean, you can just try very hard to keep everything organized in your house as much as possible because organization helps you to, uh, to cope with difficult situations and, uh, and then try as hard as you can to have a separate space for your work and a separate play area for your children. Those are for people with young children. If your kids are teenagers, then, uh, you know, keep them busy with, uh, with anything that, they, that, that holds their interest. And for those of you who have to work and, and homeschool, then you have to keep a balance between you have to get your job done and then in the evening you have to do the homeschooling and make sure everything gets done so your child doesn't fall behind. Okay, so that, somebody help me with that. I didn't come up with all that by myself. Um, and good luck because this is really a really difficult situation for people to go through, you know. Good luck. Good luck. <clears throat> anyway, I'm I don't have much more to say. I just wanted to say a few things about it, about COVID nineteen or cor the coronavirus because you know it just seems like it's all doom and gloom. Everything I hear is doom and gloom, doom and gloom, and it's really it's really scary when you sit and think about it, you know, that this virus is out there and it's just, it's everywhere and you don't know who has it and people can get you sick even if they're not showing symptoms, you know, it's all very scary. So self-isolating is the way to go and also, you know, wearing a mask and, you know, carrying, um, Carrying paper towels with sanitizer on them so you don't touch anything. Just touch them with the sanitized pa paper towels with sanitizer on it. And washing your hands. It's what you can do. You know, social distancing too. But, uh, but yeah. For those of you who can, who have the time. I su Well, even if you don't have the time. Some laughter. Something fun. A comedy, you know, if you have kids, then, you know, find clean jokes and, and, uh, and tell your kids all the clean jokes, you know, <laughs> I love my joke, you know, it's one joke that I remember, the only one, you know, uh, how do you make a tissue dance? Put a little boogie in it. Okay. So that's one, but you can, uh, you can have fun with your family and laugh. And laugh as much as you can.
okay these in the uh, in the future those of you who have families and you're with your family right now you will see that these are precious moments that you don't normally get these are precious precious moments and the more you laugh the more you grow to appreciate spending time with these people Okay, and on that note, I'm going to end this. And someone help me with that, too. I have to give credit. Anyways, uh, on that note, um, I'm going to end this vlog. And I'm going to say, I hope everybody watching has a great day tomorrow and things go your way. All right, bye.